Hey everybody, it's Christ Kids time. I'm Pastor Katie. And I'm Miss Crystal. If you're a Christ kid or a Christ kid at heart, can, can you, you give, give us a big wave? wave? We're doing Christ Kids time together today in our super awesome red sweaters because for the next few weeks we are talking about Mr. Rogers. Miss Crystal, do you know who Mr. Rogers is? Um, is he that guy on TV that looks for clues with his blue dog? No, he was actually a pastor who had a TV show for kids with lots of special friends. He always wore a red sweater like mm -hmm. ours, and he talked about all kinds of important things. What kind of important things? Things like kindness, love, and taking care of our neighbors. Oh, oh wait, was he the guy that had puppet friends too? You betcha, that's him. Oh, are we going to have puppet friends? Absolutely, and we can talk about important things. Today, we have our friend Wednesday with us. Hi, Hi Wednesday. Wednesday. Hi, Pastor Katie and Miss Crystal. Since you're talking about important things, I feel a little worried about something really important today. Oh, Wednesday, why are you feeling worried? Well... I heard you and Miss Crystal talk every week that Jesus loves me and teaches me how to live, but I don't think Jesus is very happy with me right now. That is a big worry, Wednesday. What's going on? Well, I don't really talk to God every day through prayer. Sometimes I don't even talk to him for a whole week. Well, God doesn't stop loving you just be when you forget to pray. Well, you see, there's more. I haven't been to Sunday school in like three months. Even worse, I don't want to go to Sunday school, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to make friends. God doesn't stop loving you when you don't go to church or Sunday school? I'm worried I don't read the right books, and I'm not very good in school. Sometimes my mom even says that I push my brother, and that's not good. I hope Jesus still loves me. Oh, Wednesday, those are a lot of worries. God definitely wants you to do your best and be kind to your brother, but the truth is that God and Jesus love you no matter what. Jesus loved you before you ever had the chance to go to church, and no matter how you're doing in school, there's nothing you could do to make Jesus love you any less. Jesus loves you just because you're you. Pastor Katie is right. Jesus loves you because God made you to be you no matter what. And that's what Pastor Morse is talking about today too. The scripture Pastor Morris is sharing with us even shows that before Jesus does anything to help any person, before he teaches us how to pray, before he shows us what kindness and love are, God tells Jesus, I am pleased, my beloved child, or he's proud of him. That means you don't have to do anything for God to be proud of you. God loves you for the exact person you are. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel much better. My heart feels warm and cozy inside. Thank you for reminding me and the love that helps me to be the best friend that I can be and just who God has made me to be. Can we talk to Jesus right now and tell him I'm so thankful for his love? Of course, Wednesday. Let's all pray together. Dear God, thank you for loving us before we ever even knew we needed your love. Help us remember when we are feeling down. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. All right, Wednesday. We'll see you soon. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> now, if you're a baby through second grader here in person, you can meet your teachers in the gathering space and head to chapel to learn more about Jesus' big love. Adults, please make sure your children are checked in. They can be picked up from room 103 after service. Have fun, Christ kids.